So here we are at the end of day three. And look what we've got. Oh, heat pump is in place on its base, looking nice. Uh, still a work in progress, still plenty to do. Got the, uh, got the electrician on site. Morning. Morning. <laughs> He's helping us uh, get it all wired in. Uh, and the plumbers have been working on the uh, flow and return pipes inside. Uh, and uh, doing a bit with the tank. So, looking good. Uh -huh. Looks like we've got a couple of new radiators ready to be installed. Um, the one on the right is from my office, which is a, basically a double panel version of the one that's already there. And the tall, thin one on the left is for our master bedroom, which is a little bit short according to the heat loss survey. So uh, we're going to fit that in. Uh, into a little narrow space behind our uh, ensuite uh, toilet door. So uh, that should uh, give us enough heat output into our master bedroom. So looking forward to seeing those installed today. So um, you saw that the, uh, the heat pump is now wired in and um, the uh, electrician showed me the, the cable that he's used to connect the heat pump to the new uh, consumer unit that's been installed in the garage. And um, this is tough stuff. Um, it's got, um, it's got, it's armored and it's got uh, steel uh, wires to protect um, the core of the cable. I suspect it's probably um, able to be used underground uh, just directly buried in the in the ground but um it's wicked strong it's wicked strong stuff i i it must be an absolute pain to work with but um but i think it's ma made by um doncaster cables is that what they're called it says it's manufactured in the uk which is pretty good it's good for 600 uh or 1000 volts um but what's interesting in our a configuration as you can see here it has um, the all the usual connectors for single phase so uh, live neutral and earth but this is um, cat5 cable which means that this um, this piece of cable here can do power and data um, down the same with the same cable run so in our configuration, what we're using this for is to um, uh, allow the energy monitor, which sits in the consumer unit, to route its data down the data cable to where the heat pump sits. And then the, um, that data signal will be sent along with the, um, with the valence own EBUS signal up to the um, the uh, cupboard, the airing cupboard, which will have both the valent controls and the energy monitor, the open energy monitor device. So I think it's quite a nice solution here that you're able to put data down with heavy duty power and, um, and solve that problem in one cable run, which is uh, quite nice. The electrician tells me that they primarily use this cable for um, EV charges, which require a great deal of power, but also, as often as not, uh, a data connection, an internet connection, essentially for uh, you know for billing and stats and running the app and all that stuff. So, um, so yeah, good looking cable, and um, I like that it's manufactured in the UK. So that's always important. So the cable run goes from the Skarmé isolator under the back door step and into the garage. Sean has run that round here. That must have taken some bending because that cable's strong. And then round here, past garage junk, past the uh, solar PV battery, and uh, we have a new uh, consumer unit 
uh, here on the right for the uh, for the heat pump, uh, just like we did for the uh, for the solar. Um, as you can see, the uh, this is still a work in progress, but the uh, uh, energy meter is there on the left. And that's being wired in. Um, I'm going to stay well away from this because uh, it may may be live, so we'll leave it alone. But good work is going on here.